Welcome reefers, it's Justin with Reefers Life and thanks for watching. Welcome, today we're gonna to be dipping with iodine. Let's get started. So we all wanna keep unwanted hitchhikers, nuisance analogies, things like that out of our display tank. It's always a good idea to dip and quarantine your different corals, but here are some of the different dips that I use for my corals. Revive, Coral RX, Iodine, and Hydrogen Peroxide. And today we're gonna to be dipping with Iodine. So I've been doing a lot of research and trying to find out specific directions on how to dip corals using Iodine. And I haven't really found anything that tells you specifically what you should be doing. So no matter what I'm dipping for, I want to get rid of pests, unwanted algae, and I couldn't find anything exactly specific on the different I concentrations so I poured I exactly four cups so of tank I wanted water to try into this and container. Figure out exactly and I started adding iodine. And what I came up with was that you need about one milliliter of iodine per cup of water for SPS, if you're willing to dip SPS. I personally don't dip my SPS in iodine. I tried it with one frag that was already dying. I dipped it for about three minutes, put it back in the tank and it did end up dying. I use iodine dipping primarily for LPS and zoas. Basically the biggest thing is for those you want about 1.5 milliliters per cup of water is what I have found to work best. This is the color that I like to have my iodine dip at for LPS and zoas which is approximately 1.5 milliliters of iodine per cup of water. So now when it comes to dipping your corals, basically what I have found is that the length of time is very important. I typically will dip my LPS corals for somewhere between 15 to 30 minutes and Zoas for 30 minutes up to 40 minutes. There's actually some articles that I've read about people dipping Zoas for up to 24 hours in an iodine solution, but I have not gone to that extent. So now I'm just going to go ahead and replace the old water that I had the frags in, just dump that water out and pour some brand new tank water into those containers. So now that I'm taking the frags out of the iodine dip, I just place them back in some fresh tank water and if I'm gonna reattach them to different plugs, I go ahead and do that, and then I place them back in the tank. All right, so that's how you do it. And again, if anybody has any specific ways to dip with iodine, better than what I found out, because again, I could not find any specific instructions on how many milliliters to dose per gallon, etc. Please leave them in the comments below. And again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 